Super Banana here. Just want to let you know we missed you all, but we are all on vacation, having a good time and getting a little relaxation. Ben went down to Florida Universal Studios, hung out at Jurassic Park, got a high five from Harry Potter, and got a squishy from Quickie Mart. John went on vacation, a little camping and staycation time with his boys, went to Henry Ford Museum and Dave and Buster's Banana. Well, sexy banana went on vacation. That's me. Hung out with his girlfriend, Chiquita, in Bora Bora. We had a blast. You never know. There might be little bananas in the future. <laughs> Welcome back to Nine Planets, comic book family. I'm pimping out the new books this week. That's why my beautiful hat. I haven't read any actually, but uh, some of the new books, the highlights, Wolverine, very cool cover, Omega Reds, looks like he's doing a battle. Yep, yeah, I like that cover, very cool. We got Joker, my last copy actually. I guess these are 15 to 20 bucks on eBay already, but still cover price at Nine Planets. First appearance of the Daughter of Bane, and punchlines in here too. Um, Daredevil with Elektra being Daredevil, that's still a hot storyline right now. I've been ordering more, and I think this is our last one. We're still, still selling out. Um, I'll save that one. We got Guardians of the Galaxy. That's uh, Rob, McFar Rob McFarlane, Rob <laughs> Lightfield. 30th anniversary Deadpool cover. He's doing a bunch of covers. I think this one's really cool. So the last two books are the weirdest and my favorite books this week. I haven't even read this one. It's still my favorite book of the week. Serial Serial by Terry Moore. Big independent creator. Rachel Rising. Um, he's been doing his own stuff for many years. But this is, again, I haven't read it. This is like a 56-year-old woman trapped in the body of a child. So she... Hunts down pedophiles by using herself as bait, is what I read, the basic thing. So that just sounded pretty cool to me. And then one of my favorite books the last six months is Scumbag, number seven. The world's, the world's fate rests on the worst person on it. He is a dirtbag, a scumbag. He's earned his name, and I laugh every single month when I read it. So those are some of the highlights for this week's new comics. Um, we will see you soon in the store, and we'll see you in the next week or two on the show. Have a good one. Welcome back, Nine Planets family. This is John the Comic Guru. We're going to do a little unboxing today. Um, one of us, not saying which, was uh, up late one night <laughs> and <laughs> decided to order a couple of mystery boxes. So we're going to find out what we got. Where did it come from? Green Bank, Wisconsin. Is that W A? No. Washington. Washington. Oh, Wisconsin's W I. Green Bank, Washington. All right here. Oop. We got to get an official one. Kids, don't try this at home. Be no. safe when you open your packages. With the razor blade, especially. All right. My favorite popcorn to stick everywhere. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Okay, this stuff goes everywhere. Well, at least you know it's safe, though. Yep. Maybe. It looks totally wrapped up, all bagged and boarded. I get most of these out of here. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Oh, a nice solid block of them. Yep, I get it. Yep, some cardboard, more snow in there. Okay, this is a big bag. There we go. Ooh. Still can't see. Oh, look. See, hidden on both sides. Just to keep, keep teasing us. Keep the mystery alive. Exactly. Son of a bitch. This is a peep. Bleep. <laughs> okay, we're going to take some razor blade action with this. 
kids don't play with razor blades at home. No. We're highly trained professionals. Safety first. Okay, let's see what we got here. Any good? Some ultimate X-Men. All right, we like Thor. Another Thor. We've been getting low on Thor, so. Ooh, I love this series when it first came out. 90, 89, 90-ish. 90, May of 90. Spectre. Ooh, the Avengers. And that's the, you know, the White Vision that's been hot recently. The Punisher, will he ever be published again? Frank Castle, maybe, but we're not sure about the Punisher. Nice. Is that a what if? Nope, just a Silver Surfer. Adventures of Superman. All right. Another Adventures of Superman. Ooh. Flash. Our Flash guy just left. <laughs> we got uh. two Flash books. That's okay. He'll be back. Ooh, Star Wars. We're definitely selling Star Wars comics good lately. That's a pretty cool looking cover. Yeah, yeah. C-3PO with a weapon. I've never seen that. Right. What if Wolverine? That's a kind of cool cover. Ooh, amazing. The first Eric Larson after McFarlane left the run. New X-Men. Oh, we got a winner. A winner, winner, I huh? I think we got a winner, Mr. Mr. Box. Look at this. Beautiful. Batman 423. These are pretty smoking hot books right here. The McFarlane. He doesn't do much Batman. It looks in really nice shape, too. Yeah, that's the winner so far. I'll set that one aside. All right. A cool Joker cover. And this one is like... Hold it in half or something. Let me pop this out of the bag. Well, we can't yeah. all be winners. I yeah. mean, just look at the end. You can see it's like folded in the middle. What the? But that's to balance out the winner winner chicken dinner. Now, you said like some guy just said he got a big collection, didn't know what everything was worth, so he just did this. Yeah, he said he had like 27 long boxes he got. And he just boxed them up in random packs and put them up there to our mystery boxes. Oh, beautiful. It cost me 30 bucks with free shipping for the mystery box. Ooh, a Fantastic Four. And I'll, I'm pretty sure Iron Man's on the other side of this. This is a promo for the cartoon. Yep, there's Iron Man. Oh, look at that. It's almost like a two-for-one deal. Exactly. Don't bag this bag. It's your winning ticket. Catch. <laughs> Ooh, another Punisher, the Marvel Knights, the Garth Ennis hardcore stuff. Silver Surfer. All right, New Mutants. Oh, I like this cover. I always like that one. It's a Mark Bagley action. Fantastic Four. More FF. Yeah, definitely kind of a all superhero stuff. Don't even know what the heck this one is. Archangel Studios, the Red Star, Run Mc... Makita, Makinta. Oh, this is a cool one. Just sold one of these earlier. <laughs> Good replacement. All right. The X Men, Omega. I love the shiny covers. Yeah. Yep. Shiny or glow in the dark. Captain America, Agent X. Ooh, another Punisher. Now this is actually the origin of Microchip. I don't know if anyone remembers Warp. This is an independent first comics back in the day. Oh, Superman. Ooh, a Jim Lee X-Men. Eight and a half million copies of this printed. <laughs> Another cool Thor. Uh-oh, this detective feels like that other book that was... Uh-oh. That's okay, though. Ooh, a Batman Adventures 4. All oh, right. This. Another Flash, Flash 50, and Web Spinner's Tales of Spider-Man, 60 Years of Marvel. That's pretty cool of... books. This is definitely a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner for that uh, Batman 423 with McFarlane art. All right. Gorgeous. Well, that's it for this week. A little mystery box for uh, two nuts and one banana. 
Uh, this is John, the Comic Guru, signing off. We'll see you later. <laughs>
Daniel Bryan, there's an AEW figure, some more Undertaker, Bobby the Brain Heenan. superstars down there some more other figures there's a Becky Lynch everybody's waiting on Becky Lynch to come back but who knows when that'll be there's Morrison did you see the Morrison and uh, Miz and Bad Bunny and Damian Priest match that was pretty good on Bad Bunny's part there Jerry the King Lawler The Rock up there there's China and Triple H oh and some bootios. Everybody loves the bootios. Whoa, sorry about that, people. Had some technical difficulties there, but we're back. So, now, we're over here at the Funko Pops now. We picked up a massive collection of Funko Pops last week. There was probably about 250 of them in there. So, we're going to go through some of these and show you off some of the ones we got here. We got a whole bunch of wrestling ones. We got the Stone Cold and the Rock 2-pack in the ring. Look at that one. One of those is at my house already. We got the Iron Maiden set. We got Elvis. We got Biggie. We got Britney Spears. Man, is she gorgeous. We got the police. We got the Titans figures for the Yellow Submarine. Beatles Classics. There's Run D M C. And then we go over here. We got Marilyn Manson. Slipknot. There's some Freddie Mercury's. There's Willie Nelson. Willie, what's up? Some more Big E. Ice Cube. The Struts, Weezer, Def Leppard. Refilled the pop supplies for you too. We got plenty of cases for you guys. And then we'll swing around the other side here. Patrick Bateman. We got Hannibal Lecter. Brand Stoker Dracula's. Garbage Pail Kids. Classic favorite for everybody. Go over here, now we're into the Creep Show, Edgar Allan Poe, Pennywise. Got some other ones hiding down here, Independence Day, Predator, Stranger Things. Over here we got Billy Madison, Forrest Gump, Dumb and Dumber. Got almost the whole set of Dumb and Dumber ones, I believe. If not, we're pretty darn close. Got their rides and everything. Going on here, we got Stripes and Office Space, The Simpsons, bunch of Lord of the Ring ones, and Game of Thrones ones. There's the Night King there hanging out. Now I'll go over here. We got McDonald's, got a whole bunch of those. Love that rocking Ronald. Look at him. Rocking out his shades on and his guitar and everything. Big old Huckleberry Hound just hanging out. Some Evil Knievel, some Master Universe. Slush Pup. Flock. So, you know, that means he's fuzzy and all. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Bozo. Wally Gator, some of the Toy Story ones, alright, there's a Pikachu, Ultraman, some Dragon Ball Z, Speed Racer, some Cuphead, some Rick and Morty's, some Star Wars ones hanging out over here. All right, now we're all the way around, all the way around past all this goodness. Oh my gosh, we're going all the way around here. We got a couple sports ones. Yellow Lantern Batman. 
There's the DC line. Some old some mascots down here. Now we're up into the Marvel ones. There's Ant-Man and Wasp. Gwenpool. Hey, look at that. Gwenpool the selfie stick. Ha <laughs> ha. There's a Wolverine. There's Captain America. There's Storm. There's Thanos. There's a Thanos. And we just got this one in the other day. That's Galactus. It's about time they did a Galactus size Galactus. Is perfect scale when you scale with the rest of the Fantastic Four line. And we've got a couple more hiding right here. Some Freddy Funkos. Now we're on to the case here. We've got some, you know, more pricey ones. Meteor to moderate to expensive. You know, all different price ranges. There's Medusa. There's a Lemire. There's a Bumblebee down there. There's a CM Punk. Doc Brown. Rhino and all them. The Big Bang Theory sets down there. Sneak past some comics here. Oh, we got some people coming in too. The Stone Cold 7 Eleven. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Great, how are you? Good. You got any questions? Just let us know. You got it, dude. There's a Pop Asia one down there for you. Sorry, we got a couple customers in here. I'm trying to talk to you out. And then we also went through and redid our entire back wall recently too. So there's some other uh, good ones up here. Oh, there's Motor City Mo and get into the game. Motor City Mo, get into the game, both local books, both great creators, great guys. All worked on all those books right there. We moved our CGCs to a whole wall full now. So there's a lot more graded books here for everybody to look at. Go down this way. Oh, there's Super Banana. What's up, Super Banana? We got this going on over here now. There's some marble selects there for everybody. There's a Moon Knight 112, Pennywise 112, and one of the things I think is just one of the coolest things now in the world. Ready for this? Ready? 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 That's a xenomorph head up there. We were out hunting while we were on vacation. We took one down, we brought him in, and we mounted him to the wall. Man, that was a crazy trip. And now this is a work in progress over here. We are working on building a music section. We're going to have some records, some CDs, some figures, maybe some cassettes, eight tracks. All kinds of music related stuff, you know, music comics, music potato heads. Time magazine from when John Lennon died. 
Elvis. Man, that's a buff Elvis. I don't remember Elvis ever being that buff. But, you know, Chuck D. Hanging out next to Weird Al with Megadeth and Eddie. And then go over here. We got some records we're starting to build up a little bit more. The Kiss Calendar. MC Hammer hiding out there. There's some Nazareth over there. Some Cheap Trick. Some Eagles. Stuff like that. But anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Sorry about all the technical difficulties or anything, but this has been Ben. So what's in my toy box for this week. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Until then, have fun, be safe, all that good stuff. And if I don't see you or talk to you soon, well, I don't know. Take care, and I'll talk to you when I talk to you then. All right, have fun, everybody. Welcome back, comic fans. John the Comic Guru here at Nine Planets. We're always buying, always selling, always trading. Picked up a few kind of hot comics this morning. One is Smoking Hot, and there's a couple of pretty hot ones. Not necessarily hot, but kind of cool. Uh, He-Man in the Marvel Age. So this is his first Marvel appearance. Very cool cover. Muscles on, muscles in on Marvel. A beautiful. John Byrne Iron Fist cover. We picked up three or four issues of this, but this is just a beautiful cover. Uh, Submariner versus the Dragon Lord. Or the, was it just the Dragon? Yeah, just the Dragon. Um, FF Annual 15 was the Dragon Lord that took him away. But yeah, I love this cover. Love the battles. Pretty hot book right now, Department of Truth. Already talking TV show and everything. This book's maybe eight months old and... It's $25, $30 all over the place. Pretty hot book. Second print. You can always tell the second printing. It's got a little Roman numeral over here. I don't know if Ben's going to zoom in. looks like it. A little Roman numeral here to tell you it's a second print. Then it's a Bane. But first appearance of Bane is a little damage. I'm probably going to throw about 10 bucks on it. And a new book that just walked in in our mystery box that we unveiled earlier. Was this uh, Batman 423? This McFarlane cover on Batman, it is screaming hot right now. In fact, this might end up in Ben's personal collection. You'll have to check out the wall and find out. But yeah, that's it for hot books. We got a few in this week. That's definitely the Batman and the Department of Truth. Those are pretty hot books right now. Uh, but we'll see you again next week for some more hot comics. Thanks. God bless. <laughs>Your friendly comic guru here. Just a quick update on The Champ, one of my favorites, Superman, still standing large with a big auction, I think about a week ago, Action Comics number one, a 9.0, sold for $3.25 million to a private collector. Well, he says he's an investor is all the news we got, so... Um, I'd rather go to a collector than an investor, but I don't have the money anyways. But, uh, yes, $3.25 million, what, so that's what, 50000 above the last one that went for three point two in 2014. Um, we've had Amazing Fantasy do a million. We've had a Detective 27 did, what, $1.5 million a few months ago. But my buddy, my pal... Superman, still the champ, at $3.25 million for Action Comics number one. You have a great one out there, boys and girls. Guru out. So Ben here with some awesome news for everybody. So, I know the pandemic set everybody hard. We've all been wanting them. But I'm here to tell you about the return of Comic-Cons. That's right, people. They're coming back. Here's just a couple of lists for you, a couple we have set up that we're going to be at so you can stop by, say hi to us, tell us how much you love us and everything else, and, you know, just chat with us for a few minutes. First up, we have, on May 14th and 15th in Indianapolis, we have the Squared Circle Expo. This one is dedicated strictly to wrestling. There's going to be everybody there from Kane to Jake the Snake Roberts to Darby Allen to Sammy Guevara and many, many more. So if you happen to be in the Indianapolis area or you want a road trip and you're a big wrestling fan, be sure to check that one up. Next up, 
We have the Down River Comic and Collectible Show. That'll be June 5th and 6th at Lincoln Park High School. Guests are still being worked on for that one, so check back later for more details. We are super excited about the next one. This is one of our favorite shows every year. We have the return of Astronomicon for Astronomicon 4. This one will be the 20th through the 22nd at the Sheridan in Ann Arbor. They just announced the venue the other day. They're starting to announce guests. Guests are looking incredible so far. It's one of our favorite shows every year, so be sure to check that one out. And finally, another one of our favorite shows. Usually these are more spread out, but they're stacking them on us this year. Two of our favorite shows in a row. We have the Monroe Pop Fest, which will be Saturday, September 18th in Monroe at the FMB Expo Center. Monroe Pop Fest is always a great show. It's small, but it's great, and it's always awesome. So, just so you know, now you got four to look forward to. I'm sure there'll be more popping up soon as things start to work out and everything, but until then, everybody be safe, get to these cons, enjoy them, stop by, say hi, give us a high five, an elbow bump, you know, whatever is going on. And until then, have fun, and we'll see you soon. All right, thanks, everybody. Super Banana here with a super duper announcement, the winner of the WrestleMania contest here at Nine Planets. You see all sorts of cool stuff before me. And to assist me today is Nine Planets wrestling champion, Ben Mysterio. Oh, Ben Stereo, the great Ben Stereo. Now, he doesn't have a voice and I don't have hands, so we make a perfect tag team. Let's see, what do we got here? We got a... Otis, Money in the Bank Pop for our winner. Pretty dang cool. We got, yeah. Next, we got a WrestleMania, the Ultimate Photo Collection, Volume 1. Cool magazine, all sorts of good pictures. Next, we got, I'm going to pan down. We got the WrestleMania 31 DVD. Then we have a couple of cool figures by Mattel, Andre the Giant, WrestleMania, and Randy Macho Man Savage, WrestleMania, and then the big prize is the Roman Reigns, oh, the Roman Reigns autograph, hopefully the mic's good, anyways, we're going to draw the prize, Ben Stereo's going to reach in there, he's trustworthy, because he's wearing a mask. Let's see what we got there. Dig in. Pull out the cool winner of this great prize package. Autographs, action figures, Funko Pops. Ooh, let's see the ticket. We're going to zoom in there. That's about as zoomed as I can get. Ooh, wait. Don't move. Ben Stereo. Scott F. Look at that. I think we know Mr. Scott F. It's the one I'm thinking of, but you're the big winner, Mr. Scott. Come on down and claim your prize. Mm -hmm.